Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It's Jamar from Vegas Sense. And in this video, I'm going over my top Middle Eastern fragrance houses, uh, at least in my opinion, that I have in my fragrance collection. So definitely stick around throughout the whole video. And also to everyone watching, um, my discount codes for Oud Store, Triple Traders, as well as Bandadier Fragrance, I'm gonna have those listed right here. And you can use that discount code VEGASSENSE10 to receive 10% off of your order uh, from all three of those websites, all right? So I also I have links in the description uh, to where you can actually buy all of these fragrances featured here in this video. So definitely check those out as well. Um, also, um, if you're brand new to the channel, do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe and also leave a like and a comment on the video, all right? So just to get started, man, the first house that I'm going to start with um, right now, I only have one fragrance from this house in my whole collection. Um, but what I can definitely say about this house is they are pretty top notch in terms of quality, even if they don't necessarily release fragrances as frequently as some of the other houses on this list. And this is going to be the house of Al Haramain. All right. So Al Haramain, they, they do have a, a pretty large selection of different fragrances, um, you know, both originals as well as different clones of fragrances. But when it comes to, you know, obviously how often they release fragrances, um, it's not going to be as often as some other houses. But when they do release fragrances um, such as this, you know, the Amber Oud Rouge, which is like the Baccarat Rouge 540 clone. Uh, this is a really, really top quality, you know, clone, at least in my opinion. Um, I've also had their uh, Layton clone as well, uh, the Detour Noir. That one was a, a really, really nice high quality clone. Um, not as high quality as something like the Woods Collection Dusk, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, it definitely, it, it did give really good performance. Um, and it, it came pretty close to the original scent profile. Just obviously the bottle design on that one was just, it was, it's pretty ridiculous. Um, but you get a really nice premium bottle design, at least with the Amber Oud series. Um, I haven't smelled all of the fragrances in this particular series. I've, I have had the Blue Edition, which is like the Blue de Chanel clone. And that one, that one smelled pretty good as well. But this so far has been my favorite out of that entire line. And again, this is going to be from the house of Al Haramain. All right, so the next uh, fragrance house is going to be the house of Rasasi. All right, so Rasasi, I would say just like Al Haramain, Rasasi doesn't necessarily release fragrances as often as some other fragrance houses do. Um, but, you know, when they do release fragrances, they do release pretty high quality, you know, and really great smelling fragrances. So um, the two fragrances that I have here are uh, Rasasi Hawass, which is pretty much like a sort of mixture of Invictus mixed with Invictus Aqua. Um, and, you know, it definitely has like an added sort of Middle Eastern sort of cinnamon spice to it as well. This fragrance, I would say, is probably my most complimented fragrance out of my entire collection. And then you have this, which is Satur Ta, and this is their take on uh, Gucci Guilty. So um, the one thing that you get with Rasasi fragrances, at least from what I've been able to tell, is you get really good performing fragrances. Rasasi fragrances seem to be pretty loud in terms of projection. They're really good in terms of their longevity and just in terms of overall scent quality, they do seem to be pretty top notch. Um, also, the, the bottle designs on a lot of Rasasis that I see tend to be pretty, pretty, they, they tend to be pretty nice. Um, obviously, I would say this is probably my favorite bottle design out of any sort of Rasasi fragrance that I've ever seen is the Hawass design. Um, but this also, this looks very sort of elegant and upscale as well, even though it's a very sort of simplistic looking bottle. All right. So definitely, I would say if you haven't checked out the house of uh, Rasasi, 
that would also be a house that I would say you would want to check out as well if you want to get into Middle Eastern perfumery. All right. So again, that is the house of Rasasi. All right, so the next house is gonna be the house of Armoff. All right, so the house of Armoff, um, I would say Armoff is kind of like one of the original houses that sort of started, you know, this sort of, you know, Middle Eastern kind of cloning, um, you know, sort of craze that's sort of taken over within the last few years. Um, they were pretty much, they were the originals, I would say, at least from what I remembered anyway. Um, in terms of how often they release, they release, I would say, probably about the same amount of fragrances that, you know, probably Rasasi does. Now, I don't necessarily know the exact numbers on that, so I may be wrong. Um, if so, don't quote me on that. But they definitely, they also don't release fragrances, I would say, as often as, you know, some other fragrance houses do either. But at least for like the past probably three years or so, three to four years, whenever they have released fragrances, especially under this uh, Club de Nuit line, the fragrances have been pretty top notch. Um, you know, the uh, Club de Nuit Intense Man Limited Edition Parfum, this to me is, you know, at least for the price anyway, this is going to be the best sort of Creed Aventus clone that you can find. And then when it comes to the, uh, you know, Club de Nuit Intense uh, Siage, this, uh, or Club de Nuit Siage, I'm sorry, this is going to be, in my opinion, like the best sort of Silver Mountain water clone that you can find, all right? Now, obviously, they just about a year ago released some new fragrances within the Club de Nuit line as well, like, uh, you know, Iconic, uh, Club de Nuit, um, whatever the Baccarat Rouge 541 was, they had another one that was a Delina exclusive clone, I think. So they've definitely, they've been putting out, you know, some heat for sure. And what I can say is, is with their fragrances, um, at least, you know, for probably like the last three to four years or so now, they have been extremely close to the originals and they've had better performance typically than what the originals have had. All right. So again, this is going to be the house of our moth. All right. So the next house up is going to be from the house of Latafa. All right. So as you can see here, man, I've got Latafa Kamra and I've got Latafa Honor and Glory. All right. And Latafa, um, I guess say what you want about Latafa, man, but Latafa really does put out really solid fragrances, whether it be, you know, clone fragrances which you know are straight up trying to clone you know the actual fragrances that you know they're uh inspired by or maybe you might have fragrances that are more so like a twist which is more so kind of what latafa's camera is um or you even have a sort of like a, a almost i would say this is more so kind of like an original creation from latafa the honor and glory Although a lot of people are kind of comparing this to different, you know, fragrances that have, you know, similar sort of notes. Um, either way, man, I would say Latafa, whether it is the Latafa brand, it's the or the Badi Al Oud sort of sub brand or line, or if it's the Mason Alhambra. Either way it goes, man, I would say if you're getting a fragrance from Latafa, you can pretty much, you know, guarantee that. For the most part, a lot of those fragrances are going to be pretty solid. All right. Um, I really can't think of any sort of Latafa fragrance just off of the top of my head that was a bad fragrance. You know, even if I don't necessarily care for the fragrance, I don't necessarily want to call the fragrance a bad fragrance. Um, I've definitely smelled some fragrances that smell like extremely cheap. Um, you know, those to me are bad fragrances. In my opinion, Latafa, they release nothing but pretty high quality stuff. All right. So again, that's the house of Latafa. All right. So the next house, this is going to be from the house of Paris Corner. All right. So you can see here, I have Paris Corner, Rafakit, and this is their take on YSL Baby Cat. Um, and then I've got the Frenetic Delicios, which is their take on Fave Delicios by Dior. So 
Paris Corner, they do, I would say they probably release more fragrances, at least from what I can kind of tell. It seems like they release a little bit more than what Latafa does. Um, and I would say, you know, so far, for the most part, most of the fragrances that I've smelled from Paris Corner have been pretty solid. Um, for the most part, I would say when I get a Paris Corner fragrance, it typically either is pretty spot on to the original or it is in some ways like sort of like a twist, but like a, a, a twist that I would say is more so kind of like an improvement on the original sort of scent profile. So like for instance, I do have the Killer Oud Knights of Arabia by Paris Corner, which is like a take on by Rado's Black Saffron. That doesn't necessarily smell exactly like Black Saffron, but in my opinion, I think it is more so kind of like an improvement uh, on that particular scent profile, all right? So Paris Corner, I would say they are a pretty solid uh, Middle Eastern house. Um, they definitely, they have, uh, I would say tons of different sort of sub lines underneath Paris Corner. Um, you know, obviously you have just regular Paris Corner, you have Paris Corner Amir, um, you know, there's a, there's a ton of different uh, sub brands that I can't really think of off the top of my head right now that Paris Corner has. And um, pretty much all the ones that I've smelled, man, they, they smell pretty good. All right. So again, that's going to be Paris Corner. All right, so I did go ahead and save my favorite house for last. And my favorite Middle Eastern house is going to be the house of Fragrance World. All right. Fragrance World, in my opinion, um, you know, they're they're really doing it right now. They also, in my opinion, at least from what I can see anyway, they seem to be releasing fragrances. Um, I would say the most often, you know, from any other fragrance house and I mean, I really haven't had too many fragrances from, you know, uh, Fragrance World that I could say were like, you know, terrible, you know. Um, I've had some sort of average smelling, you know, or av not average smelling, but average performing fragrances from uh, Fragrance World. But just overall, I would say in terms of quality, at least about 95% of the fragrances that I've smelled from Fragrance World have been pretty top notch um obviously here i have the ysl tuxedo clone uh fragrance world suits and then here i have the uh louis vuitton imagination clone and that's going to be the essence to blanc uh this what i can say about you know uh fragrance world fragrances is because these fragrances are getting you know created and produced um you know at such a fast pace the thing that you have to, you know, kind of do, especially if you, you know, purchase a Fragrance World fragrance that was like just recently released, you can't really judge these fragrances until at least probably about a month or two after you've, you know, purchased and received these fragrances. Because oftentimes when I get a lot of these fragrances from Fragrance World, oftentimes I'm buying these because they're brand new and, you know, they've just been released. And by the time I get these fragrances, if you look at the manufacture date on these fragrances, they're typically within the, the same month that I'm actually receiving the fragrances. So, you know, in some cases, the, the fragrances, they do still perform very good, you know, just straight out the box, even though they're not even a month old. And in some cases, you may only get, you know, maybe five hours or so. Or maybe, you know, in the opening of the fragrance through, you know, I would say through to the mid, it may smell a little off. Um, I would say that's kind of what I got with this fragrance, the Essence de Blanc. This was a lot more sort of tart and it held on to the tartness, um, you know, longer than what the original did. But at least now, this fragrance smells almost identical to Imagination. Um, there are some like slight differences here and there, but I would say this is like 97% close to Louis Vuitton's imagination now. Um, and you know, this is after me having it for, you know, a, a few months now. So definitely, man, I would say if you're looking for a really nice sort of Middle Eastern fragrance house, 
you know, whether it be clones or even originals, I would say definitely check out uh, Fragrance World for sure because their fragrances are top notch. They really are. All right. So again, this is going to be the house of Fragrance World. So let me know what you all thought about this video, man. What are you all's favorite, uh, favorite fragrance houses from the Middle East? Um, do you all agree with my assessment of these fragrance houses? Um, let me know in the comments, all right? So once again, also in the description, I'll have my discount codes to the Oud Store, Banadir Fragrance, and also Triple Traders. And I'll also have links in the description uh, to where you can actually purchase these fragrances from as well. Um, anything through Triple Traders will be an affiliate link. So I will get a small commission if you purchase, you know, a fragrance through any of those Triple Traders links. Um, so just letting you all know that, you know, if you all don't want to necessarily buy anything through an affiliate link, then, you know, that's up to you. You can still definitely purchase it through, you know, TripleTraders.com. But again, anything that I'll have listed through Triple Traders in the description will be an affiliate link. All right. So definitely leave a like and a comment on the video. Also, if you're brand new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And once again, that's Jamar from Vegas Sense. I'll see y'all in the next video.